When you've recorded some of the most successful, and sensual, ballads of all time, you don't have much of a say over how those songs are, enjoyed, yes, Sean Stockman has heard numerous personal anecdotes from boys to men fans over the years. Quite a few of them have even approached him to tell him they've been conceived, or did the conceiving, to the band's biggest hits. I'll make love to you, included, I guess it's this ongoing thing when it comes to boys to men music that a lot of women got pregnant from playing our songs, Stockman, 52, laughs. Hey man, that's the biggest compliment that you can give us. Music is their tool. It's like a hammer, or a screwdriver, or something like that, he adds. And if you can't use the tool, then it's useless. So we tried our best to apply tools for people to actually use the tools. Thank God that the tools work, and still do to this day. Decades into his tenure in Boys Two Men, and nearly 30 years after the release of their commercially triumphant sophomore album Two, Stockman has shifted his own tools, specifically his favorite Gibson 335 guitar and a few of the songs that raised him, to focus on his solo side project, Sean Stockman and the Brown Noise Experience, the project, which Stockman has fronted for a few years when Boys Two Men aren't on the road is his way of telling his story beyond the Grammy-winning vocal trio. During his live shows in the Los Angeles area, including one coming up on May 8 at the Whiskey, he fronts a set list consisting largely of the hits he grew up on, including some from names like Terence Trent Darby, the Isley Brothers, Stevie Wonder, Frankie Beverly and Mays, Jimi Hendrix and Simply Red, now 52 years old. Stockman has been playing guitar for nearly a fifth of his life after starting in 2014. Fans may have seen Stockman shredding on stage, or heard the instrument's inclusion in some later Boys Two Men records, but with brown noise, those sticky harmonies that helped define a whole era of R&B and pop are no longer the main draw.